In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Saturday of the month, we come together in our devotion to Our Lady, especially as we honor this image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, Ang Birhen ng Sapaw. We also thank the Lord today for the gift of Saint Gregory the Great, a pastor and leader of the Church who contributed to the Church all his talents, all his blessings that he received from God. We also thank the Lord today for Cardinal Rufino Santos as we commemorate today his 49th death anniversary. May our prayers and petitions today be heard by our Lord in this celebration. To prepare ourselves for this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness, and rule them in love. Through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, and thou we pray with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written, so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over against another. Who confers distinction upon you? What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You are already satisfied. You have already grown rich. You have become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we also might become kings with you. For as I said, God has exhibited us apostles as the last of all like people sentenced to death, since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike. We are fools on Christ's account, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, 
but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless and we toil, working with our own hands. When ridiculed, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all, to this very moment. I am writing you this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children, even if you should have countless guides to Christ. Yet you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love Him, but all the wicked He will destroy. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless His holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? how he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
our readings today remind us of achievements. And how these achievements many times can hinder us from God. Ang atin pong mga pagbasa ngayong umaga na ito ay tungkol sa mga tagumpay natin. Pero madalas, yung mga tagumpay natin ay nakakahadlang sa ating pagtugon at pagsunod sa Panginoon. In our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, he reminds the community of Corinth not to be inflated with pride. Because St. Paul reminds them, why are you boasting as if you achieved all these things? Your riches, your power, your prominence, aren't all of these things not achievements but blessings that you received from God? Then do not boast of them. They are not your achievements. They are blessings from God. Ang mahalagang paalala ni San Pablo sa atin ngayong umaga na ito, anuman ang tagumpay na ating nakamit, huwag sana nating isipin na ito ay atin lamang tagumpay dahil sa galing ko, dahil sa ginawa ko, kundi ang lahat ng tagumpay na ito ay tinanggap natin bilang biyaya galing sa Diyos. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, let us not stop praising the Lord even if we have already achieved what we asked for. Madalas, kapag nakuha na natin ang pinagdasal at pinanalangin natin, tumitigil na tayo sa pagdarasal sa Diyos. Kapag nakuha na natin ang gusto natin, tumitigil na ang misyon. In our gospel reading today, we hear of the Pharisees. They felt that since they are the experts of the law, they are the most powerful ones. They are trying to control what the Sabbath is. But Jesus reminded them today, even if you have achieved being an expert of the law, you are not the Lord, you are not the God. I am, Jesus said, the Lord of the Sabbath. Sometimes, when we have achieved so much in life, we feel that all of these are our achievements. And we have forgotten the one who has given us that achievement. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa komunidad ng mga taga Cardona. Para po sa mga hindi taga Cardona na nagsisimba ngayon at kasama natin sa online mass, ngayon po ang huling pagdal, ang huling araw ng pagdalaw ng mahal na birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Cardona dito sa atin. At sila po ay naghahanda para sa canonical coronation. Tama po ba? Ang Santo Papa mismo ang 
magkokorona sa kanya dahil ito ay pontifical. No? Kahit na ang obispo ay representative ni Pope Francis, pero galing sa kanya ang uh, dakilang pagkokorona sa imahen ng inyong parokya, ng inyong dambana. Pwede kong may pakiusap ako sa inyo, mga taga-Cardona. Sana kahit nakuha nyo na ang corona, huwag kayong tumigil sa pagdarasal. Do not look at this canonical coronation as an achievement. Wow! Napakorona ka namin ang birhen namin. No? Coronada na yan. No? Kaya lang minsan, kapag katapos ng koronasyon, nawawala na ulit ang mga tao. No? Nawawala na ang debosyon. Nawawala na ang misyon. Kasi nakamit na. Nakuha na ang korona. Koronada na. This coronation is not your achievement. And we cannot boast about it and tell others, kami koronada, ang parokya nyo hindi. If you look at this coronation as an achievement, then you will just boast about it and forget the mission. But if you look at this coronation as a blessing from God, then you will not stop your mission in spreading the devotion. Nakita niyo ko talagang nakabangka si Maria. No? Ibig sabihin, gusto niyang umalis. <laughs> Wag niyong ikulong si Maria sa inyong simbahan. Pagkatapos ng koronasyon, nakapatente na siya sa altar. Titingnan na lang natin ang ganda ng kanyang korona. Ang koronasyon ay misyon. Sana kung gaano ko kayo kasi pag ngayon, no? hindi ko alam kung anong oras kayo umalis ng kardona. No? Napakasipag po ninyo. Sana kung anong sipag ng pagbabahagi ng debosyon bago ang koronasyon, mas lalong higit pa ang sipag dalhin ang debosyon sa makal na ina kapag siya ay nakoronahan na. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the intercession of Pope St. Gregory the Great this day as we celebrate his feast day. St. Gregory was filled with so many talents in him. He was a good leader. He was even a good statesman. But he did not forget that all of these are not just his achievements. They are blessings he received from God and he needed to share it with others. Through his intercession, may we learn that what we have achieved are not really our own achievements, but they are blessings that we receive from God. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God, our Father, who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in law enforcement and government may consistently place the welfare of the people above legalistic concerns, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that in worshiping the God whom we cannot see, we may not forget our needy brothers whom we see, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal those who suffer from various physical and spiritual maladies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant our supplication we pray o lord that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory, may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rufino, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Gregory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Through Christ, the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dadasalin po natin ngayon ang panalangin ng pagpapaalam sa mahal na imahen ng Santo Rosario ng Cardona, ang Birhen ng Sapaw. Inang kaibig-ibig, dumating na ang sandaling iyong paglisan sa aming simbahan na naging tahanan mo rin sa loob ng pitong araw na pananatili mo sa aming piling. Hindi kayang banggitin ang aming mga labi ng pasasalamat na nag-uumapaw sa aming puso. Udyok ng iyong pagmamahal, ina, manarapat mong makiisa sa amin kahit sumandali. Salamat, ina, salamat. Magbalik kang muli sa aming piling sa ibang araw. Dito ay hihintayin ka namin ng buong pananabik. Sa iyong pagpanaog, baunin mo ang aming pagmamahal. Isama mo ang aming mga puso. Huwag mong itulot na kami ay makalimot at mawalay sa iyong pag-aaruga kailanman. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumasayo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming mga makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Aba, Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumasayo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Aba, Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumasayo, bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen.
magsiyupo po muna sandali ang lahat. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, mula po sa dambana at parokya ng Mahal Birhen ng Santo Rosario, sa Cardona Rizal, Diocese of Antipolo, ang lahat po kaisa ng aming Kura Paroko at Shrine Rector, Reverend Father Bienvenido M. Gibara, ay nagpapasalamat sa Manila Cathedral sa pagtanggap sa Mahal na Birhen ng Santo Rosario, ang Birhen ng Sapaw. Nawa po ay baunin natin at babaunin namin ang bilin ni Father Kali at ito'y aming pag-uumapawin ang aming pananampalataya, ang ating pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig sa Mahal na Birhen sa pamamagitan ng pagpapalawak ng debusyon dito at ito hindi matatapos lamang sa koronasyon. Bilang pagbibigay po ng aming pasasalamat, inaanyayahan po namin si Father uh, Reggie and Father Kali na tanggapin ang simpleng pasasalamat na nagmula sa aming parokya. Tanggapin po ninyo ang larawan ng Mahal na Birhen ng Sapaw Bilang tanda ng aming pasasalamat sa pagtanggap sa Mahal na Birhen sa loob ng pitong araw dito sa Manila Cathedral. Nawa po ang bisitasyong ito ay magbunga ng kagalakan, pagmamahal at lalong higit puna ng mahal na birhen at pag-apawin ang ating pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig sa Kanya at tuloy tayo ay dalhin patungo kay Kristo sa pamamagitan ng mahal na birhen. Maraming salamat po! Viva la Birhen de Sapao! Maraming salamat po! Bago po natin tanggapin ang huling pagbabasbas, sa ngalan po ni Father Reggie Malikdem, ang amin pong rektor dito sa Manila Cathedral, ay pinakakatid po muli namin ang aming malalim na pagpapasalamat sa komunidad ng Cardona, sa Rizal, kaisa po ng inyong parish priest, Father Bien Guevara. Maibahagi ko lamang po, no? baka kami ko talaga ang dapat magpasalamat sa inyo. Sa ilang araw ko ng pananatili ng imahen ng mahal na birhen ng sapaw dito sa Manila Cathedral, pinagmamasdan ko ho araw-araw yung kanyang pwesto dyan. Wala kong tigil ang pagsisindi ng kandila ng mga tao. Walang tigil ang pagdarasal ng mga taong dumarating dito sa kanyang harapan. Sa tingin ko, ho, kami ang nabasbasan sa presensya ng mahal na Birhen. Kaya maraming salamat po sa inyo at panalangin ko po, mas marami pa kayong mabasbasan ng mga lugar sa pamamagitan ng imahen ng mahal na Birhen ng Sapaw na tatanggap ng kanyang koronasyon. Ang koronasyon na ito ay pagpapala galing sa Diyos. Maibahagi niyo pa lalo, hindi lang sa diocesis ng Antipolo, kundi sa buong bansa, ang pagpapala galing sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng mahal na birhen. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagkalang ni 
Maria, pinanang awal. 